<laughs> okay, I, I did that yesterday too. We are live here from the Rams behind Gillette Stadium. Alex Barth, Scott Zolak with a Patriots training camp recap. This recap is brought to you by Starland Sportsplex and Fun Park in Hanover. So we got to start with Drake May. There's a ton to get to. Usage, yeah. performance, all of it. Big time Drake May Day today. Uh, flooded him today with reps. Uh, he got the most reps out of anybody. And uh, for that being day three, that's pretty big for him. Brand new rookie, pick number three. We know everything about it. Now it's like, how much can you immerse him in? This is what I wanted to start to see. Yeah. Like, you got to start pressing him at some point. And it's, he handled a lot. I thought they got in and out of the huddle today a little bit better. They did. Tempo today, uh, attention to detail, I thought was better. Now, was there some screw ups? I thought he was shaky early in the practice. Yeah. Clean things up at the end. But again, biggest throw of the day, the one to Jalen Polk down the right sideline, sort of into half field coverage. Safety was hanging. He, he talked about it in his post uh, practice wrap up. Wants to keep that safety over in his eyes a little bit more. But a great catch by Polk. He said it wasn't a great ball. I thought it was a really good ball. So it, it's a good ball. So it's a, it's a slot fade about 40, 45 yards down the field. Polk had half a step on his easy hern. There's not a big window. Drake May drops it right in. But like you said, the safety's coming over the top. I thought May put the ball in a spot yep. where Polk could do the most to protect himself. But Jalen Hawkins is coming screaming in there. In a game, I still think it's caught, but Jalen Polk's going to take a big hit. And they may look at that and say, that's what our offense is going to be. And we're going to be tough receivers. But he did, it, you know, it, it, it's good and bad. It's a great throw in a tight window. He did give the receiver a chance to protect himself. But in a game, the hit's still probably coming. And another another rookie from University of Washington, Jalen Polk, is yeah. getting pressed to be the number one receiver. They're giving him a um, ton of runs. He's the guy right now. He's the guy. I think he's standing out. Uh, many opportunities. Not everything's perfect. These guys are still rookies making mistakes. Some route busts, some confusion, some late throws over in the flat. I thought May had an awful pick to the left side he talked about. But what happened? Bounce back from it. Jacoby uh, Brissett complimented on him from putting the play behind him and moving on. The bounce back is big. And the pick you're talking about, he, he's throwing in the flat, trying to hit Ramondre Stevenson on a check late, down. And late. Matthew Judon had it all the way. Like you said, throws late. Would have been a pick six for Judon, who's having a terrific camp. But May called it a rookie mistake after practice. But this is something, I used to say this with Mac Jones. He would have a good practice until he made the first mistake. And then that was it. He was done for the day. He would just fall apart. You got part of this is seeing guys are going to make mistakes. Yeah. Make the mistake. How do you bounce back? How do you recover? His last period of practice after the pick was probably his best full period of the day. Yeah, I would agree with that. And I think that's the most important thing to take from this because yes. that's the team period. And that's what Gerard Mayo told me. You can see that on All Access Friday night, Channel 4 WBZ, there you go. where he talks about we're going to be doing more team stuff, team-oriented, 11-on-11 practice, because I think you do need that when you have a lot of young guys. Do you get stuff out of one-on-ones and individual drills and seven-on-seven? Seven? Yeah, but that's the buildup to team. You can't replicate having a line in front of you, having people moving in front of your feet, stepping up in the pocket, throwing timing, reading coverage. Is it zone? Is it man? And putting the ball where you need to go. And the more Drake May has team periods like that, and he got immersed in it today, the more he's going to be ready more quickly. And one thing they did today to maximize team reps, they went split field. So you had May and Bursette yep. on one field and Milton and Zappi on the other. Milton rep more than Zappi again today for the second day. The Drake May throw was good. So I don't know if you saw it, Joe Milton's throw. Did not. It was, I think it was the throw of the day. So, so it was over here, right? It was over yeah, here. Yeah, it was on this near field. Yeah, I can see that collapsing pocket. He starts to kind of move back to his left, leans to his right, off balance, sidearm, 65 yards in the air. And Javon Baker, another rookie, big day for the rookies. Let's give him credit. Goes up over uh, Marcellus Dial about 65 yards down the field. Comes down with the catch through contact. Solid day for Milton. I thought he had one one uh, period in full team as well. That you know he's hitting some underneath stuff sure. with conviction. Both of these rookie quarterbacks, you're starting to see them come along. Yeah, they are. And uh, the more they play, the better they'll get, the more comfortable they'll get. But I do caution people that do come up down here. There's no practice tomorrow. It's practice Sunday. There are yeah. pads on Monday. Uh, just watch who you're going up against, too. So right. if you're making throws against the twos, the threes, the fours, that's really not going to do the carryover as opposed to going against that first unit. Make sure you got Gonzo out there. Make sure Jonathan Jones, Peppers, and we'll get to here with the contract yeah. extension, and the Duggar out there. If you're throwing against those guys, you're completing balls, that's something to mark down, check check off that box, and uh, to move forward on. And those guys are all playing well. Christian Gonzalez had a really good day today. Nobody Solid. could get away from him, uh, it, especially down the field, underneath all of it. He was tight in coverage. You mentioned Jabril Peppers, too. Big day for him, not necessarily on the field. He's fine on the field, but not you know off the field is the headline. He gets a three-year contract extension worth up to $30 million. We're still waiting on those two big ones yeah. up front, and we'll get to those. But 
I've always been a massive fan of Jabril Peppers. I think he's a tone setter on the field. I think he's a leader in the locker room. He's an impact player. He creates turnovers. He sure. makes plays. He's a guy I'm glad to see is going to be here long term. You can build something around a guy like that. You say that type of money, 24 with up to 30 in, yeah. uh, in bonuses and that. That's a big number. But when you realistically look at it, those safety numbers have gone up. Um, oh, insane. You know, the top safety is making 19 million. You remember when Jamal Adams went to Seattle? He's making money. Right. Remember Devin McCourty going out testing the market, came back at around eight north of that. And you're talking top tier, second, second tier there. Um, the thing with Peppers, he's a top four player in your defense for me. Yes. Like the guys that stand out, Barmore, Gonzalez, when things are right, Duggar, and then it's probably him being the fourth most important guy in your defense. I said it yesterday during our show. A lot of people are talking about Judon and Gotcha, obviously, for the reasons sure. of the contract. Peppers had a comment this week where he was asked about it. He said, yeah, I'd, I'd like to make more money, but I don't worry about that. That's why I hired my agent. He, he handles the business part of it. And that kind of got swept under the rug. I mentioned yesterday, and boom, deal goes down today. I'm glad they got him locked up. Um He's a guy that wants to be here and likes playing here. Those those are important people yeah. to keep and retain. Devon Godshaw said something similar today, too. So he talked after practice. He's yeah. obviously waiting for a new contract. Full participant today after being limited yesterday. Gerard Mayo said that was due to tightness, yeah. not the contract issue. Godshaw, again, kind of same thing. Wants to be here. Could see himself here long term. Sure. Wants to retire here. He's going to let his agent handle it. But he brought up, I mean, he had numbers. He brought up Grover Stewart. Dalvin Tomlinson said, guys that play on early downs, still get paid in this league. And that's his role. He's a first and second down guy. He's a run stopper. But those elite guys get paid. He considers himself in that group. And that's clearly what he's looking for. You got to understand the market. People shouldn't hate the market. You know, the yeah. money's gone up. TV money is out there. Patriots are 55. Now they're probably, what, about 42 under the cap with a couple of contracts that have yeah. been done here. So the money is still there to be spent. And you just have to ask yourself, day one, and I keep harping on that. If we're in Cincinnati, Bob and I are getting ready to call the game. I want to make sure Matt Judon's in that lineup coming off the edge going after Joe Burrow. How about Godshot? You feeling differently about his situation? He's a solid guy in the middle, but like if if the if the numbers aren't close, then let's let's not let's not really get into it with him and maybe start looking elsewhere. Because you still got Wise, you still got Barmore, you still got other guys you could plug yeah. in there. Daniel Aquale is Yeah, back. and then they're they're six six four. 310 pound guys all across the league that you could get in there. Now, Devon's a good player. I'm not trying to take that away from him. Right. But at some point, you got to draw the line. They've taken care of him. Bill took care of him on the last still call him one of the best guys in the league. I didn't really see that at times last year. I saw Barmore really make that explosive uh, sort of step to becoming a premier player in this league. Again, this Patriots training camp recap is brought to you by Starland Sportsplex and Fun Park in Hanover. Off day tomorrow. They'll be back Sunday. What are you looking for in the final practice before the pads come on? Uh, just, just more tempo, uh, clean things up, not have those, those silly six picks, pick sixes, excuse me, <laughs> out in the flat because you're not defending that. You can't tackle them. Those guys are gone. That's six points the other way. This team can't afford it. They got to understand that. And that's what Alex Van Pelt's got to tell them. We'll have turnovers. We can't have the God awful turnovers. And when I say those going back to last year, the Mac Jones, wins right. when you're driving and you just throw it up right underneath and you just throw it to a guy with nobody else around those are ridiculous interceptions those are backbreaking ones when you're driving when you're going to put the ball in and they go back and point you're taking 10 points off the board that's a 10 point swing your team's not good enough to, to survive that i'm looking for more continuity at the tackle position we didn't get to it today i'll have coverage on 98.5thesportsup.com it's been moving parts today everybody played everywhere it it's was crazy. A, a, i mean we could Go four or five guys at different spots. Again, 98.5thesportsup.com if you want like that. A lot of twos and threes were in the mix today in the line. So they're, they're of, looking at everybody. But I'll, I'll say this. At a certain point, Dante Scarnecchia used to talk about going. seeing it through the same eyes. Five guys see it through yeah. the same set of eyes. you got to start putting guys out there together so they can build some chemistry and some continuity. I think that's really when the pads come on is when you focus right. on that. But to me, Sunday is the last day to experiment. So we'll have more coverage of that job, on buddy. Sunday. I'm going, get, I'm going to get sun, man. I'm right. going down. You won't be here Sunday. Hammered. We'll, we'll right. still have a show. I'll still have a show Sunday with uh, TBD. Knock yourself out. Zoe will be back next week for more. Uh, subscribe to the Sports Hub YouTube page. And of course, on 98.5thesportshub.com. For Scott Zolak, I'm Alex Barth. Zoe, enjoy your weekend. I'll talk to you Hell Sunday. Yeah. Let's